Today's video is about giving all the love to the teachers. I have a soft spot for teachers. My fiance is a teacher, teaches third grade, and you guys are doing the real hard work. It's now my job to make sure if you guys decide we don't want to work any longer, you don't have to. If you want to volunteer and work less frequently but still enjoy being around the kids, great. I want you to know that. I'm going to walk you through an analysis, a case study of someone who is really going to retire early. They are a teacher, and I want you to feel this way. So once again, if you don't already know, my name is Ari Taubleib. I'm a certified financial planner. I'm the host of the Early Retirement Podcast, and I'm the vice president at Root. Now, if you are currently not a teacher, that does not mean you have to tune off this video. But I will say it is geared for teachers. So if you're like, yeah, I'd rather see an analysis without a pension or I'd rather see an analysis that's for me because I've got five million bucks and I'm big shot over here. Great. I have analysis and different case studies for you guys. I have others of you that and some of you guys don't like then I do this, but I put a video out right here for someone that has north of $20 million. And there are 100,000 people in the US with north of 20 million bucks and they don't get a lot of guidance. So some of you guys will drop comments like, hey, you're really doing the Lord's work here, helping the people with 20 million, good for you. I'm like, look, I believe everyone needs help and I don't care what stage of life they're in, whether they're 15 years old and they gotta start understanding how money works and compound interest, or they've got 20, 30 million bucks going, look, what do I do? Should I get an LLC for my real estate properties? And how do I think through estate planning? And I wanna help all of you. So today is gonna be focused on teachers because you guys are the real heroes. So here's the comment for today. This comes from Barbara Cannon 5179 Ari, I love your content. I'm a teacher getting myself straight. Can you do a video for teachers with low pensions wanting to retire early in 50s? Let's do it. What do you guys say we meet the couple? All right, here we go. So there's a couple. Now, both of these people are working, but not both of them are teachers, okay? So 57 and 54, uh, these are real couple, I'm just changing the names, okay? 57 and 54, they do have a child who's 23. Many of you are like, this is a similar case study to the last one. A lot of similar case studies, we have lots of clients. So this is a real couple, you can see in terms of their assets, in terms of what they're working with. So they've got a 403B with $430,000. Whoa, 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 I've never heard of that. What the heck is that? It's like a 401k, but it's for teachers. So just think about it. Now, 403b, don't get too bothered. Spouse has an IRA. They have a superhero account. So that is a brokerage account. They have a Roth IRA. So the good news is they've got a little bit of money in different spots, more than a little bit. They've got a good amount of money. Now, they're very modest people. So they're like, look, we don't need a fancy life. We've got a nice home. We've still got a mortgage on it. We've got a little bit in the bank. There's actually closer to 30,000. But regardless, this is their net worth, but that doesn't tell the whole story. And the reason that doesn't tell the whole story, and it's not huge, but you can see they're working today. They want to retire early. And if they retire early, their pensions are going to look very different. So they're going like, look, if I were to retire at 60, my pension would be this. If I retire at 62, it would be this and this and this. So what a lot of teachers do, nothing wrong with this. They're like, look, what if it turns out I run out of money? I don't have any other money saved. So because of that, I'm just going to work until I'm 65 and get the greatest pension. And then, not saying this is going to happen to you, but what can happen is you're like, well, I just got a really scary health diagnosis, and now I really want to spend time with my family. And so because of that, I think I should retire earlier, but I don't want to retire too early and be kicking myself. It's going, why didn't I work one more year? Because then I could have been in a good spot. So everything I'm going to show you all right now is using the same software that whether you have $20 million or $500 you can use. So you can go into the academy. This is in the description of this episode. You don't get one-on-one -on -one guidance. I offer it for a few hundred bucks. So if you want to play around and get the same tools that my clients play with, be my guest. Now, this couple here, this is the income that's coming in today. So 115,000 and 85,000, they have a pension. So he has a pension, okay? It's not a huge pension, but it's 25,000 bucks a year. And then they also have an Etsy biz. And they say biz instead of business because they're hip, all right? So the point here is here's what they're working with. They're now wondering, hey, can we retire early? How do we think through this? Now, in terms of their spending, they are looking at $4,500 a month. So let's take a big pause here. And I asked the couple, I go, look, are you really spending $4,500 a month? Like that allows you to do everything you want and more. That's less than $60,000 a year. They're like, Ari, we are not big spenders. That does not add quality to our life. We go out to eat twice a year. I go, okay, all good. Um, but does that include vacations? Like I'm really begging them to be like, look, 
I would rather you work a little longer so you can actually spend what you want. They're like, no, this includes maybe one or two big vacations. I go, okay, um, but is that including the mortgage? And like, I, I really need to know. And they're like, no, that that's separate. So you can see here, 2000 a month is what their mortgage payment is. They pay a little bit extra to it, but they're doing 2000 a month. And this is what they'd love to spend. I said, okay, guys, great. Let's have a talk. I go, what are you even on track for right now? And they're like, well, we want to know how early could we retire? I said, okay, well, right now we're working with about a million dollars. There's north of that. There's some in a bank account. There's some other different investments, but it's about a million dollars. You also have a pension. So it's not like everything is up to your portfolio to be able to dictate your retirement. And your portfolio is looking pretty good. And the reason this is rising is because what's happening is they're spending less money at the same rate their portfolio is growing. So they're spending money, but they have a pension that's coming in. And the pension is 25,000 bucks a year. And they have an Etsy business. Let's call it 15,000 bucks. So 40,000 bucks, that's coming in no matter what. Well, $40,000 is coming in the door. Okay, great, in the door. At the same time, they already told us how much they wanna spend. So they're like, okay, wait a second. 4,500, that's $54,000 a year. They need their portfolio to essentially create 14,000 a year for them. Because 40 is already coming in, 14,000, that's what is coming in from, once again, the, that's the difference that needs to come from their portfolio. But they also have their mortgage, and that's 2,000 a month right now. So it's really 2,000 a month times 12, that's 24, plus the 14, well, they really need $38,000 a year to be coming in no matter what. That's gonna allow them to make sure they can meet all their bills from their portfolio. So like, okay, so let's look at their plan here. Well, right off the bat, their investments are growing, but let's assume they retired. And I said, guys, you're in a good spot. Now it starts to decrease. Well, why is it decreasing? Well, these are the years before Social Security gets turned on. Now, some of you might not be aware, but there's something called a windfall elimination provision. What this means for many teachers is you're not actually paying into Social Security. You are paying into your pension. So you don't get both. You don't get Social Security and a pension. Now, if your spouse is working and they're not a teacher, well, they could have Social Security and you can get a spousal benefit from them. We'll do another episode on that later. But for this couple, they're wondering, hey, are, are we on track to possibly do this? And so if you look at their plan right now, their plan is looking pretty good. Like they're on track at 93 to have $1.6 million. I said, hey guys, like, would you rather retire earlier or leave more behind? And they said, Ari, we'd actually rather leave more of a legacy to our children. I said, cool with me. What happens if we work longer? So let's just see, what if they work one more year? What does that do to the plan? Some people are like, oh, it's not even gonna make a big difference. I go, look at this. 780,000 more dollars by working one more year. So you know what most people do? They go like this. I'm gonna work one more year, Ari, trust me. Oh no, just Ari, one more year, but also one more bonus, because that comes in March. I can't give that up, you know? And five years later, they're still working. So that's called goalpost planning, where you just keep pushing back the goalposts until you have enough, and everyone's enough is very different. So here's this couple, and they're like, Ari, you know, what if, you know, this looks awesome. Now we're on track to pass away with maybe two and a half million dollars that gives our child a better legacy. I go, guys, does this really let you spend enough? I mean, I don't, I just don't believe you. And they're like, no, it really does. I go, okay, just humor me. Could we add in 20,000 bucks a year on vacations? And they're like, okay. And I said, watch what happens. And they go, huh. So if I work one more year and so that, that's why there's a little green bump right here because you can see they're working one more year. And then what happens is, yeah, there's 300,000 fewer dollars, but you know, it's still 1.6 at the end. And they just took vacations at 20,000 bucks a year. They're now like, wow, maybe we do work longer. And I said, hey guys, what if you retire and do the vacations? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that, that sounds so good. Retire early and do the vacations. I go, guys, that that you can't do. You, you'd have a million fewer dollars. That's not gonna create a rosy retirement. So why am I showing you guys this? Because I want you guys to ask yourself a very simple question. Would you rather work longer so that you can spend more or would you rather retire earlier, even if it means you can't spend as much? And once you have clarity around this, you'll go, wow, okay, maybe we wanna get massages and physical therapy. Or what if, for example, they decide the you know, Etsy biz starts crushing and it's making tons of income and they love doing it. Well, they might wanna retire even earlier, but this is how I would want you guys to play around and think about your retirement. And ultimately, this is not the graph I let people retire on. The graph that I tell someone you have my green light to retire is called this graph right here. It's a withdrawal rate graph. 
So if this couple said, Ari, we want to spend 20000 a year every year on vacations, and we want to take a big vacation, we want to buy new cars, and we want to you know, do yada yada, I'd say, guys, you cannot do that forever. And they'd go, why? And I said, well, your withdrawal rate is too high at the beginning. Meaning if you were to retire and need income before Social Security gets turned on, you're going to have to take out 9, 12, 11, 10% of your portfolio. That's not sustainable. That is, but then watch what happens here. Well, now their withdrawal rate is super low and decreasing. Well, what's going on here? Well, they're spending less because they don't have their health and time and energy to the same degree. Maybe they're not traveling. And they've got Social Security that's helping out. So now they have a pension, Social Security. They've got their biz income coming from Etsy. So they're like, hey, we don't want to just like not retire early because in the future, we're not going to need to, like you told me we're already going to be in a great spot. So it's kind of, what do we do in the first five to 10 years? And I go, that's what it's really all about. That's what we're up against. So if they said, hey, we want to do maybe not a big vacation, but we want to do vacations at maybe 15,000 bucks a year. What does that do to the plan? Well, 15,000 bucks a year. Now, here we are. Is this a sustainable withdrawal rate? Eight, nine, 10%? No. But if it was for one or two or three years, and then all of a sudden it dropped, and for the rest of the retirement, they're at 2%, yeah, I'll tell someone they can retire. And they're like, wait a second. But you said it shouldn't, on one of your videos, go more than 5%. I go, it shouldn't go 5% and rising. One or two years at a withdrawal rate that seems high before other income sources come help out, well, that I'm okay with. Why? Because I don't believe in cookie cutter planning. So I'd want you to think through how often would you be doing vacations? What do you want to do? Some people are like, look, I would rather like 20,000 year vacation sounds awesome. And if I could wait and have my pension increase and stop working at, let's just say 62 and 60 because we love what we do. Well, great. Like some of you are going to be like, well, that's me. Like, look at this. Now I've got those two big withdrawal rates, five and a half percent. I'm spending 20,000 a year on vacations. This is awesome. I mean, I worked four more years th than originally, but if that means I can spend more, look at this. This is awesome. And then why do you guys think this jump is happening? Any guesses here? Boom. Now all of a sudden we've got so much money coming in that you're vacations are stopping because once again, we put the vacations only for the first 10 years. Well, now all of a sudden what happens is they have pension and social security and side business income if they're still doing Etsy. And so now we've got to do Roth conversions or else they're going to get hit with even bigger taxes later. So I want you, if you're a teacher to please go use this software, understand how software planning works so that you can get a sense as to like, what are we on track for? Go add in all of your goals. This couple didn't do a great job. I want them to go and go, it's, we got to add college for the child. And how often are we going to buy new cars? Are we going to help with the wedding? Are we going to downsize? Are we going to want to do more giving? Are we going to possibly want to buy a business? What if it turns out, you know, income, we go in here and, you know, the pension, we delay it and we delay it and we work until we're 63. And because of that, I ran some estimates and my pension is going to be like 60,000 bucks. Well, some people might go, wow, with that difference, I'm going to retire even earlier because it turns out I don't need to spend as much. 60,000 bucks. Like I've already got that. I, I feel like we're good. Like we'd live a simple life. Others of you are like, whoa, 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 4,500 bucks a month. That's like my restaurant budget. We need to move this sucker up to 10,000 a month. Great. Like go do that. Like go find out what your plan looks like. And of course, this is to me the big difference with planning pensions. Some of you guys are going to be like, whoa, what's happening here? Well, guys, the green is updates. So here's a couple that we just said, what if they spend 10,000 a month? Very different from 4,500. Well, if we tried and they said, we want to spend 10,000 a month and they wanted to work until 62 and 60, guys, they could do it. I'd argue it's cutting it way too close and I would not recommend they retire, but this teacher could try to do it. Now, what if they work till 63, just hypothetical, 63 to spend 10,000 a month? Well, that's looking a lot better. So some of you out there are like, look, 10,000 a month, that would, that would let me live a life I really am excited about. And I want that. I go, cool. Others of you are like, look, 6,000 a month, I'm good. That's more than enough. I can do what I want to do. Could I have more? Sure. But like, okay, do you want to have 
five million dollars when you're 93 or would you rather retire three years earlier like what is most important to you those are the questions i want you to ask yourself as a teacher and start to determine what you're on track for so guys i hope this software was helpful now you can go get this start playing around and if you go you know what this is great but i want to work with you and your team on an ongoing basis you can reach out to us this is what we love to do that's it for this video. All the love to the teachers. Please do like this if this was helpful and share it with someone you want to retire early with.